Get ready for an epic tale of loyalty, betrayal, and redemption in Renfield. Ever wondered what it's like to serve a vampire master? Or what happens when you break free from a life of darkness? In today's video, we'll explore Renfield's thrilling journey. Will he escape the clutches of Count Dracula and find his independence? Let's find out. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more like this content. Spoilers ahead. The film begins at a support group meeting where a mysterious man named Renfield listens to other group members discuss their experiences in toxic relationships. Renfield has a similar experience of his own. Renfield is the aide to the narcissistic Transylvanian vampire Count Dracula. Renfield narrates his experience with Dracula. In the early 20th century, Dracula meets English lawyer R. M. Renfield. Renfield hopes to broker a deal for some land. After proving to be a helpful assistant, he becomes Dracula's familiar, allowing him to be immortal and gain super strength and speed when he consumes bugs. Renfield explains that he was introduced to high society by serving Dracula and given an exotic life. However, like all good things, his servitude to Dracula had to end. Ninety years later, Renfield has grown weary and exhausted of bringing victims to Dracula and the latter's abuse and violent tendencies. On several occasions, Renfield had prevented the annihilation of Dracula, thinking the Count would respect him more. However, each time, Renfield is tricked. In a recent close call encounter with some vampire hunters who nearly succeeded in assassinating the Count, Renfield is forced to relocate them to New Orleans to recuperate. There, Renfield discovers a self-help group for people in abusive codependent relationships and plans to hunt out the group's abusive lovers so he can give them to Dracula to feast on without feeling remorse. Renfield ingests a bug to gain super abilities. He goes after Mitch, Caitlin's lover, and finds him at a warehouse, where Mitch and his crew hide stolen drugs. The men are initially afraid, thinking Renfield is a hitman sent to terminate their lives for the stolen drugs, until he reveals he has come to avenge Caitlin. The men burst into wild laughter, mocking him. Renfield easily tackles the men using his abilities. However, shortly afterward, Renfield is confronted by an assassin hired by the rival Lobo crime family. He fights off the assassin, who nearly annihilates him. Still, Renfield manages to win the intense and vicious duel against each other. Renfield manages to terminate the assassin by beheading him with his fist and attempting to hunt down the man who hired him, Tedward Lobo. Tedward is horrified to see a bloody Renfield packing in his intestines and quickly drives off. In the meantime, two officers, Rebecca Quincy, a second-generation police officer, and her partner keep watch at a checkpoint. Suddenly, a panicked Teddy arrives at the checkpoint, attempting to beat the traffic, and runs into Rebecca. Teddy attempts to flee, but Rebecca stops him and arrests him. In the meantime, a weakened Renfield drags the corpses back to Dracula's lair in the basement of the dilapidated charity hospital. The horrifying-looking Dracula complains about not getting fresh blood to speed up his regeneration and nags at Renfield. He asks for couple's blood, unsuspecting tourists, or a busload of female cheerleaders. Renfield gives him a confused glance, and Dracula quickly explains that it is nothing sexual. Renfield says he hopes they can have an everyday human life. Still, Dracula attacks him, insisting that being the Prince of Darkness is much better than being human. Dracula tells Renfield that the criminals he has brought as food are insufficient and that the vampire desires the blood of the pure instead. At the police station, Teddy is interrogated and insists on being released. Fortunately, Teddy gets his wish and is released from custody by corrupt police officers, annoying Rebecca, who had been bent on nailing the Lobo family members. While Rebecca is fuming, she confronts her sister Kate, an FBI agent, who advises her to give up on her obsession with taking down the Lobo crime family. Teddy returns to the club run by his mother, Bella Francesca Lobo, who reminds him that their family is the most feared but complains that the fear their family once instilled in the city is fading away. She tasks Teddy with killing Rebecca to convince her he is fit to inherit her criminal empire. Meanwhile, Rebecca investigates the scene of Renfield's attack. In the meantime, Renfield goes to a restaurant to abduct commoners while Rebecca is also led there by clues from the crime scene. Renfield spots Rebecca and attempts to hide but also realizes Teddy's men have surrounded the restaurant in search of Rebecca. The two are caught in an attack on Rebecca's life that Teddy has been pressured into making. Teddy confronts Rebecca and reveals that his men brutally beat up her father and iced him. He places a gun on Rebecca's head, and she dares him to shoot her. She calls him a coward since he has never pulled a trigger before. Renfield ingests a bug before he can pull the trigger and rams into Teddy. Renfield and Rebecca defend themselves, icing out several gang members and leading Teddy to escape. Renfield surprises Rebecca with his super speed and inhuman strength. After the massacre, Rebecca thanks Renfield for saving her life. Rebecca assumes he is in the military. Renfield has never been appreciated for anything before and enjoys being appreciated by Rebecca, who praises his bravery and skill. When Renfield returns to Dracula, he reveals his plans for world domination with Renfield by his side. 
Renfield is not interested. Renfield returns to the support group and reveals that he no longer wants to be codependent on his narcissistic boss without revealing his true nature or that of Dracula. Renfield is now determined to be independent after a few words of affirmation. He begins to spend more time at the support group and away from Dracula, getting his own apartment and living an everyday human life. He becomes friends with the members of the support group, changing his attitude to one of helpfulness. He returns to the station to write his statement about the incident at the restaurant and brings a flower for Rebecca. Renfield gives a statement to the police to help them try to finally stop the Lobos. Rebecca thanked him again for coming forward. Renfield encourages her to fight for justice and stand up to evil men. Motivated, Rebecca asks for Kate's help investigating evidence from the warehouse crime scene. In the meantime, Bella Francesca orders Teddy to hunt down the man who killed her foot soldiers. Camera footage reveals Renfield was responsible, and they track him to Dracula's lair. However, Teddy ends up encountering Dracula when Renfield is away. Dracula attacks Teddy, who reveals Renfield's activities. Dracula learns of Renfield's betrayal and flies off. He finds Renfield at his apartment and taunts him for wanting a human life. Renfield unintentionally reveals that the support group, run by a church, gave him a new purpose. Infuriated, Dracula leaves. In the meantime, Rebecca questions the former partners of Mitch and his drug-thieving crew about their deceased partners, but neither feels remorse. She learns of the support group. At the support group, Renfield attempts to warn the members about Dracula, but they do not understand him. Despite Renfield's pleas, Dracula appears and slaughters the support group members in front of his former minion as punishment. Rebecca appears and finds Renfield surrounded by dead bodies, causing her to arrest him. Moments later, she is swarmed by corrupt police officers and the Lobos, who also want revenge on Renfield. Her partner is also revealed to be under the Lobos' payroll. Rebecca refuses to hand Renfield over, and she barely escapes with him. Dracula returns to Teddy and they form an alliance. The following day, Rebecca finds that Renfield has saved her life, and he explains his true origin while confirming that he wants to reform himself. Kate informs Rebecca that the evidence she brought has revealed the user's identity, Renfield, whom she claims has committed crimes worldwide spanning decades. She dubs him the most prolific serial killer the world has ever known. As Renfield and Rebecca attempt to leave his apartment, they are surrounded by corrupt police officers and Lobo henchmen. Renfield ingests some bugs, and the dupe fights through the armed men, brutally icing them out and escaping. Renfield returns with Dracula and introduces her to Bella Francesca. The trio team up. Later, Renfield and Rebecca recuperate, and he reveals remorse over sacrificing everything to serve Dracula because of his greed. After attempting to call Kate, Rebecca discovers that she's been taken hostage by Dracula and Bella Francesca. She and Renfield stockpile weapons and many bugs to storm the Lobos' headquarters. However, upon getting there, they realize Dracula has empowered over a half dozen gang members, including Teddy, to have all of Renfield's supernatural abilities by ingesting bugs. A bloody battle ensues. Rebecca heads to stop Dracula, only to find that Kate is beaten to near death. Dracula reveals that only his blood's healing properties can save her, which he will offer in exchange for Rebecca's loyalty. In the meantime, Teddy violently and brutally beats up Renfield, who holds back against him. He regretfully terminates him, leaving him with no choice and seeing that Teddy is relentless. Rebecca tricks Dracula and injures him by exposing him to sunlight. He flies off, leading to a final standoff with Dracula and Rebecca. Dracula attempts to terminate Rebecca's life, but she shoots him in the leg, allowing him to bleed over the wounded Renfield. He regains consciousness and flights the vampire, restating his intentions to break free from servitude and codependency. It ends with the Renfield and Rebecca capturing him in a magical circle. Renfield and Rebecca beat Dracula into pieces, take his healing blood, and scatter his body among the concrete. Renfield then heals Kate. Afterward, the sisters arrest Bella Francesca and later resurrect Renfield's self-help group friends, feeling empowered to make a new life for himself. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment what you think I should recap next and I'll see you in the next video.